A story of the way that the power of pooches may help calm some pandemic fears. Patty Spittler is here from Pet Pals TV with a couple of great guests, Sarah Feehan and Shelly Fisher, both with Eskenazi Health. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you. This is, this is a, a, a great idea, makes all the sense in the world. The I idea know. that... And a nice, you know, calming presence with an animal can help in a really tough yeah. time. Well, and you wonder, why, why didn't we think of this before? But if you're a kid and maybe you're afraid of anything and the, a new experience, but the animal helps to calm you. We know how they help when kids, they can read to them, you know. So if you're going to get a shot, yeah. okay, you're looking at the dog. Yeah. So, Shelley, yeah. want to tell us more? And Eskenazi is yeah. a commi commitment Absolutely. To this. So, uh, Marion County reached out to see if we could help them with their vaccination clinic. And, of course, our therapy dog showed up. And um, it's just amazing what they were able to help with. Even just kids actually getting the shot. Um, there was an eight-year-old boy who was scared, crying in his mom's shoulder. He glanced up and saw the dog and was like, oh my gosh, that's a dog. And, <laughs> and that was it, like the light bulb went off and he was ready to just have a great time. Oh, what's this dog here? This is another so dog. So at West 38th Street, we have a pediatric clinic um, where we have our therapists and dogs um, joining together to help our kids um, get their goals <laughs> met. And Sarah, who is one of our speech pathologists, has helped in this setting as well. well uh, when you ha see that experience, does any of it surprise you? Um, no, it really doesn't. Yeah. Um, we've been really fortunate to have Shelly reach out to us specifically to try to incorporate um, uh, what she's doing with our goals. And um, honestly, it does make sense because we're working only with children um, and children love dogs. We love yeah. dogs. That's really helping us. Patty really, um, really loves dogs. Yes. <laughs> and Quinn is wonderful. Um, Quinn is from Love on a Leash. Um, him and Susan volunteer. Okay in our facility yeah. and we just it's no. so fun working with a the therapist because oh, we can then good. integrate their goals specifically sure. and the dogs can help it could be where a child is working on stability and they bend down um, they squat to bend down to pick up a treat and then reach up to put it in like a cupcake pan and then take it down in front of the dog and then the dog is mentally stimulated to try to find the treat so mutually benefiting both parties sure. is kind of where we lie with this. Does it take a certain kind of, of dog to, to really make this just work perfectly? Or, or do all of them kind of have that heart that maybe that's in there and there's an ability there? Well, well, you also have to wait and see the dog that's old enough that you know its personality. Right, exactly. My Louie, my first Bernese Mountain dog, was a therapy dog. But Stewie's kind of afraid of people. So okay. they're all a little different. Yeah. And some are too high strong. You know, a Belgian Malinois would make a, maybe a good, better police dog right. than a therapy dog. <laughs> and what is this again? He is a Barbet. A it's a Barbet. French water dog. So he's... He's been a lot of fun to work with, um, but yes, dogs, you definitely have to work to their strengths and to set them up for success, for sure. Um, in general, uh, as you work with kiddos, and we're in the middle of the pandemic, and um, you know, not, not, not to ask you know, too specific a question about any individual uh, kiddo doing, going through anything, what's the sense you get of how they're handling all of this, and, and how we are doing as a society coming up with ways to, to sort of to make the, the journey sure. a little more gentle? I think. Um, Assessing the situation all the time because it could change. Um, um, I think if you bring in some positivity and some um, outlook of, okay, we're right in this moment, this is where we are. How can we make the situation better? That's kind of where we sit with this. Um, but the dogs do make it a lot easier. They're, they're this wonderful bridge between mm -hmm. the patient and um, the um, okay. dog. You're going to tell us how we oh, yeah. get a hold of them over there. And here, pass oh, yeah. this over to Scott. Oh, okay. So the dog he will go see him. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go over there? Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, there? Okay. How does somebody, if they want more information, what should they do? Um, reach out to um, the Eskenazi website. We are always looking for new volunteers to join our program. Um, it is a process, but I'd love to get that process started with you. Um, yeah, and then this is just a fun little card. This is Quinn's business card. I don't know if anyone can you know, see that. Up. Quinn likes the burrito. Here's Quinn's me. business card. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn has a business card. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Randy it's nicer one. than my we're business. With all of this. <laughs> uh, real quickly, this is a kind of story that you do so well on Pet Pals TV. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 oh thank you, Scott. Coming up this weekend, 1030, here right here, Wish TV, we're going to go back to the zoo and take a look at the lights for Christmas at the zoo. And I went into the orangutan uh, center to okay. talk about conservation. And Rocky remembered me. He really? winks at me, yeah. Uh, also, um, <laughs> there was a, a, a reporter here by the name of Mary Lang. She's now married, uh -huh. and she lives with her husband. Mary McDermott, and a bunch 
picture yeah. and two llamas. Llamas? I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the eminence in the air, and the llamas came up and kissed me, so it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, Mary McDermott, if you remember her with that name. So, yeah. Mary McDermott, yes. Yeah. It's Mary Lang now. I talked to her all the time. I didn't know she had llamas. All right, good. Patty, thank you. Thank you both very much. Good work that you're doing here. And Quinn, I've still got these. I know the burrito's better. <laughs> At any rate, Randy, we'll get you that business card, too. Yeah,